excited to share with you how I make my sugar cookies. I've done two uh, time-lapse videos so you can see how the dough's made and how to cut out the cookies. And today I'm going to show you real quick how to make the icing. Um, I've been making this icing for years. It's super simple. The cookies that I'm going to show you are something, if you're not confident piping with a piping bag or you are a little um, apprehensive about sugar cookie decorating, this is the cookie for you. It's also super fun if you want to do it with your children. First off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in four cups of powdered sugar. And you don't have to be precise with the measuring, but four cups is kind of a good amount to start with. So we'll get that in there. Looks like a lot, but once you add the water, okay. There's your four cups. Next, we're going to add, I don't measure, but if you are measuring, you're going to want to do about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of vanilla. I guess this is great Mexican vanilla. And then you're going to want a teaspoon of almond flavoring. I just use the McCormick's almond flavoring. This is a new bottle. Got to get that open. There we go. So about a teaspoon of that, maybe a dot more. And then you are going to want to use about two to three tablespoons of meringue powdering. You can also use white egg whites that are pasteurized. I get this at Hobby Lobby. It's just a meringue powder. Um, this container will last you a long time. So you're going to do that. I always want to stir that stuff good. I always make a little bit of a mess just to get it mixed in. And then we are just going to add water to the consistency. So just start with, you know, a fair amount. You can always add more powdered sugar if you get it too runny. And you can continue to add water till you get the consistency that you're looking for. And be patient with it. Just to kind of stir it together. You'll see the centers start to come together. And it's pretty thick, so we're going to need quite a bit more water. But I always tell you, you can always add more water. You can't take it out. So don't be too liberal with adding the water in because it does start coming together surprisingly when you don't realize it. So we're kind of getting a good paste here. Oops, making a little bit of a mess. A little more water. All right, so once we get this icing made, there are just a few tricks. If you want to try uh, piping, you can use Ziplocs if you don't have piping bags. I have piping bags because I make a lot of cookies, but you can take a regular Ziploc. I like using the freezer kind. They're a little bit heavier, a little bit sturdier. And uh, you just, on the corner of the bag, down at the bottom, you just make a very small nip. You also, a little tip, you want to cut the smallest hole possible. Um, again, it's kind of like the water. You can always make it bigger, but you can't make the hole smaller. So just cut the corner of it, and then you can add your icing in. What I'm doing today, you're not going to even need to pipe. So at about this point, I like to switch to a whisk, and I like to get a really good blend on everything. This is still too stiff. I just want to work out all the clumps and just a little more water. There you go. That's probably where we're going to be. One of the things you do to know when you're at the right consistency for sugar cookies is you're going to take your spatula and you're going to draw it down the middle and you're going to count to seven. And if at seven the line that you have created comes back together, that is the perfect consistency of the icing to flow cookies. I made a lot of this, so we're probably pretty close. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You're going to take this and draw a line and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That didn't quite come together, so we're going to want to add just a drop. And that will be the perfect consistency for this icing. They also have come out with a lot of fun cake decorating uh, colors, and one of them is white. So if you're ever trying to get a bright white, you can actually add a food coloring that's white. 
Today I'm going to leave it this color because I think that's just super pretty for snowmen. And we are going to make some turkeys. So, there is your icing. And it is ready to go. So, that's the first step in the cookies. I'll be back later.